So for part C, you're asked to find the derivative of the product f of x plus 1 times h of x. And we've already decided from the last problem that f of x plus 1 is really 2g of 3x plus 3 minus 1. And we also had the derivative of that. So if this is f of x plus 1, then let's say p is equal to f of x plus 1, and q is equal to h of x, which also happens to be this line here that has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of up 2 over 3. And so h of x could also be written as 2 thirds x plus 1. So as we think about the derivative of p, well that's going to be the derivative of what you see here. And what you see there, the derivative will be 2 times g prime of 3x minus 3 minus 0, because the derivative of that 1 is 0, times the derivative of the inner function, which is 3x plus 3, or 3. So p prime equals 6 g prime of 3x minus 3. Now, q is this h, which is this line, while q prime is just the slope of that line, or two-thirds. I didn't even really need to come up with the equation if I didn't want it. Q is, Q prime is two-thirds. So now I set up my product rule, P prime Q plus Q prime P. I got six G prime of three X minus three times Q. Well, Q is H of X, which is two-thirds X plus one plus q prime is two-thirds, and p is 2g of 3x plus 3 minus 1. Now what I should have done is I should have said, hey, find um, this derivative when x equals 1 or something, and then you would have gone through and plugged in 1 for every x. That would have been a pretty interesting activity. Let's just see what we would have gotten when we do all that. So 3 times 3 is 3 minus, so this is really 6 times g prime of 0. When we look at our table, g prime of 0 is 4, so this is 24 times 2 thirds plus 1. Well, that is, uh, let's see, 5 thirds plus two-thirds, so this is going to be g of three times one is three plus three is six. So that we don't have a value for. We would have needed more values in our table to be able to finish this out. g of six minus one. So let's just say we had one more set of tables here, values here. When g is six, or x is six, g of six is one. That will make it two g prime is 4. So that means this g of 6 would be 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 1 is 3. So I'd have 24 times 5 over 3 plus 2 thirds of 3. Well, those would cancel. So we'd really be looking at whatever this turns out to be what do you know? It equals 42, something nice and clean.